We will now begin recording the interview with Deedham Ozartok Evans. The recording takes place on January 19th, 2017 at Sack Cymru's head office in Cardiff. The volunteers present are Rob Body and Lara Taffer, and this recording is being collected as an oral history and will be part of the Chronicle Project, a project led by VCS Cymru and funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Okay. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Deedham Ozartok Evans and I started to volunteer at Snap Cymru just over two weeks ago. And, uh, well, I worked in the financial services uh, over 10 years, and now I'm uh, in the career transition. Uh, I started, um, I'm starting my psychology degree uh, next week, actually. So, and I decided to volunteer to, to benefit my uh, study as well as the, uh, the society that I'm working now for. And have you volunteered anywhere else before here? Yes, I, I have. Um, I'm from Turkey. Uh, I work with the children uh, from deprived families in Turkey for, for a year. I work with them. I created projects and I have done with, uh, with their school works and, and I enjoyed it immensely. And what have you been doing so far at SAM? Oh, what a well, it's, it's the admin work at the moment, so this is where, I st uh, where it starts, basically. Uh, I'm looking into the casework, and I've been to a couple of meetings, and I'm pleasantly surprised, actually, the, the support that uh, the organization actually is providing to the families and the children. Have you been offered any support or training into your volunteer role? Oh, yes, they are brilliant. They've been great. So, uh, at the moment, actually, uh, I, I've been showed a couple of things that is really vital to their database. So every day is a, is a learning curve, but yes, I receive, I receive support. Um, how did you learn about SNAP? Again, uh, because of my study, so I tried. I tried going into the, uh, the working, um, working environment to, to start as an entry, entry role uh, in psychology, but of course, if you don't have any qualification or if you're not coming from this uh, society, then it's really difficult. And um, I've done, I've done deep, uh, I've, I've done research. And throughout my research, I found uh, families first, and through there, I found SNAP, and made a couple of calls, and, and here I am. Can you describe a typical day so far of your know, responsibilities here? Oh, uh, my responsibilities are not uh, too much. At the moment, I don't have too much responsibility. Again, uh, it's uh, checking out the uh, the, uh, the cases that have been opened um, and the, the certain uh, letters that needs to send out to the parents. And if there are uh, cases needs to be closed, to just to make sure that the, the parent had received the support that they needed to from us and, and get their consent and close the cases. And if there are any meetings again with my colleagues, I, I, I take along and learn from there on. So basically, I'm shadowing them. And do you think that, I know you've only been here two weeks, but do you think that this position has helped you get to know the card community any better? I am learning, I must say that, yes I do, I, I had no idea before uh, the, the, the systems uh, run in the school and, and teachers and uh, the organisations involved uh, helping the, uh, the children in their circum, 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 uh, certain circumstances and conditions. Yes, I'm learning, as I said, because um, I'm passionate about this subject, so every day is a really, uh, it's like a data voice search for me. So what does volunteering mean to you? Do you can you give it a definition? Volunteer, um, it is uh, it is something that we all uh, in in the society should should do. Um, it is it is the responsibility that we have to uh, to the uh, to the um, environment that we live in, and we all have something to give, and uh, we participated in. Um, as just a help and support that we all can provide to the certain parts of uh, society, and and the time and effort is uh, we put in, if, uh, the reward we get um, for me, it is the reward that I get, is just uh, crucial and it's really important. Uh, do you have any favorite memories so far of volunteering? Uh, I still. Uh, social responsibility. When I when I uh, when I was in Turkey again, um, 
uh, in this educational uh, organization that I've worked in, uh, one of the children, um, I think he was seven years old, and I, I, uh, I, I was fortunate to uh, be involved in, in certain uh, projects with him. And uh, there was a time that I was coming back to the UK and I had to leave. And the, the, the letter that I received from his parents as well as him and the little gift that he put in. And there I knew, I knew that it was so important. We don't actually realize how important uh, the job that we do for uh, for children and for the parents. So that was a moment that I would never forget. Do you have any advice or words of inspiration for others to volunteer today? Oh, just delve in and, and, and enjoy yourself. And, and then it, it would be so surprising for anyone who actually is uh, contemplating to, uh, to, to volunteer. It's just it's a learning curve and you will, you will find a lot about yourself that you can't actually find it in a paid work <laughs> on a 9 to 5 job. Uh, while volunteering, have you met anyone that has greatly impacted your life? Oh, yeah, sorry. So have you met anyone that, while you've been volunteering, that has kind of changed your world view or made you think about things differently? No, not yet, not yet. It has been just two weeks. Uh, but I can give you an example from Turkey again, and it was the um, the unit leader. There, there were little schools, if you if you like. Um, uh, children used to come off the school and, and get involved with the uh, the ac different activities and projects. And the, the leader of that unit, um, he 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 was he was just giving. He was a giving person. But the way that he involved with the parents and things that he created out of nothing basically and uh, provided help to these kids and fun uh, and how um, genuine that he was it, and, and he, he's a very good friend of mine now so he was an inspiration yeah is there anything you'd like to add that we haven't talked about mm. not really i think i think we covered the base pretty well i think we answered most of my questions do you have any questions <laughs> no no i'm just trying to do my job quietly <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.